those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to another kitchen vlog with me, Paul, of those vegan guys. Uh, Jason's back in work today after two weeks off. Um, I've we've texted. Uh, he's fine. Um, obviously having a couple of weeks off he's had a couple of hundred emails to go through and um, hopefully he won't be finishing too late today uh, so after I've made this and uploaded it I'm going to be putting together in the editing software the uh, the video that we made last night how to construct the perfect burger um, and uh, Jay will be finishing off doing the full edit on that when he gets home. So it's a two vlog day from those vegan guys. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's how it's going to stay. Of course, now with Jason being back at work, uh, I can do my kitchen vlogs by all means, but um, uh, we, will be, we'll, we will be having to plan better for things we do. Um, vlog wise uh, so what did I want to do? I've got so much buzzing around my head that 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 I wanted to talk about and I suppose the the first thing would be um, the fact that Philip Schofield has uh, recently come out as gay and I posted um, I posted something on my Facebook page about this and uh, got a really kind of strangely even mixture of comments back some people extremely supportive and like don't you dare say anything negative kind of thing he's being honest uh, and some people saying uh, I agree with you Paul well what did they agree with what I'd said was um, that I don't necessarily think that we should celebrate uh, those people particularly uh, in the limelight who come out um, late in life having been married and had children in what now turns out to be a relationship that was never I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about his wife and kids. This is, see, a lot of people, when they hear about a situation, they immediately think about the person that they love. And they, a lot of people love Philip Schofield. Here's the, here's the rub. As a presenter, so do I. I think he's brilliant. I don't particularly like the fact that he's a Tory or that he's incredibly anti-vegan. Let's just remember those two points. But as a presenter... The guy's great, always has been. And my argument is that I don't like people who, I don't like the act of getting married and having children and then saying, oh, I'm gay, I've always been gay. It's just that now I've only, I've only just now got the courage to come out and do that. Because one, your wife and kids, where do they go from here? And I'm not speaking about Philip specifically here now, because this happens more than you might realise. So there's not only that, but there's all, when you are in a position like Philip is in, with um, a, an unalienable audience, you should have used it sooner for better. Ten years ago, when suddenly we could have, well, it's further back than that, uh, civil partnerships, that was the tide turning right there. And I just think that when someone is in a position of high visibility, that it should be used wisely. And so I'm not hating on Philip Schofield, but I'm not celebrating his coming out because I'm thinking about his wife and his kids and the 10, 15 years of lost opportunity of being an advocate and a role model to young LGBTQ youth 
and it wouldn't have touched your career because you were already too well established and people keep citing but oh well, what about in the 80s when this happened to this guy that was the 80s Uh, so yeah, uh, I got a, 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 a bit of shtick and uh, then got a, even a bit of shtick on the channel because somebody posted a comment of, uh, about it like uh, on a video that was completely unrelated just like just wanted to say I, I think this is fabulous um, in a place where I know that won't be challenged kind of thing so, well that's assumptive um, ta and I was like hmm I don't think it's anything to celebrate and it ended up with uh, lots of uh, horrible name calling and finally a threat towards me so that person is now blocked from this channel um, because if you can't discuss things respectfully and if you can't respect my opinion as much as you expect me to respect yours who the fuck are you? So there's that issue. Um, I'm not celebrating it. I think it could have been done a lot sooner. I think a lot of time was wasted. And I think people's lives have been uh, affected by it. And so what's to celebrate? I'm very happy for Philip that he now has the courage to be himself. It's important to say that. But as I said, when you are a person in a position of power, or even influence and you don't use it for good what does that say about you? can we talk about Joaquin? can we talk about his speech at the Oscars for a second? now this is a guy who through his own actions and through his own boisterous behaviour I suppose and um, uh, challenging behaviours almost ruined his own career in Hollywood almost ruined it and then was given a chance to come back with you know a series of movies by the way he's one of my favourite characters in um, Parenthood with uh, Steve Martin and Mary Steenburgen and uh, Diane Weiss and, oh amazing film love parenthood um what is it about all the women in this family that make all the men in this family want to leave one of his lines his speech at the oscars last night using his position of power and influence to highlight the p the fact that people of colour still aren't getting a, 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 a fair share of accolade or appreciation or even acknowledgement within the entertainment industry but it's not just the entertainment industry is it and he stood on that platform in front of all those powerful people and said I'm part of the problem too and we need to change it we need to change that from here and he spoke about what did I do on my phone he spoke about the uh, the dairy industry um, which I definitely invite you to uh, go and find those snippets of speech if I can find the snippet about the dairy in fact I'll link it up there uh, but a lot of the things he said were um, beautiful in fact on our those vegan guys Facebook page I've uh, shared an article from the Guardian which um, outlines his kind of his full speech um, and yeah it's a I, I'd rather you read I'm not going to read it out to you because it's it's it, 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 that feels sacrilegious but I will say, this end bit really touched me. He ended with, when he was 17, my brother, meaning River, wrote this lyric. He said, 
run to the rescue with love and peace will follow run to the rescue with love and peace will follow is that beautiful um, but he called out the dairy industry he called out the racism he called out the lack of respect as I said for people of colour he talked about how we have put ourselves on such a pedestal that we think we're so much better than animals and uh, just you know major kudos to him for uh, for using his platform to um, share these important messages because it's huge um, yeah I'm just gonna have another drink of my coffee just excuse me for a second mm. I hope you uh, have seen the uh, shout out video that um, Jason and I did yesterday where I, st I straightened his hair and we shouted out five other channels I'll link the video up there just in case you haven't seen it also importantly to note is that it's vegan week at Lidl so it might only be for a week so if you want anything you kind of need to get there and get it quickly and if you didn't see our video it was what will be our last shopping video for at least a couple of weeks um, but we uploaded it at the weekend and as this week is vegan week I shall link that video uh, up there in fact I'll link the shopping hauls playlist because it'll be the first one in the playlist anyway it was the most recently uploaded um, so yeah the, you know there's the huge difference I'm not comparing Philip and Joaquim here I'm just saying that I don't think we should necessarily be celebrating this thing over here although I'm very happy for this person I don't mean thing as in Philip I mean this issue I don't think it's necessarily anything to celebrate but I'm very happy for Philip and I, I do wish um, uh, peace and goodwill to his wife and kids um, and then I want to celebrate this guy over here who still could be dropped by Hollywood like a hot potato and doesn't give a shit. He'll still tell you, you're all racist and you all need to be vegan. Which is basically the crux of what he was saying, but in a far more polite and um, uh, intellectual way. Um... Yeah, uh, so the you, the burger video will be coming this evening and I, I believe at some point we're doing an ultimate hot chocolate video. But what we have, we've kind of switched our brains into gear now um, with the whole, what, what we, what we can vlog. Which is why you'll see videos like the one you'll see later, hopefully. Excuse me, the burger one where it's just a little moment where we're doing something and we're like let's vlog this because it might be interesting to some people and my new invention Sal Slaw well well see it's not a salsa and it's not a coleslaw so I've called it Sal Slaw Salad Oh, it's a lot of S's and quite a lot of L's and L but you know it's it's nah <laughs> that's featured in the um, in the burger video what else can I plug while I'm here oh just you, go and have a look at our channel oh I tell you what I would love you to do actually I'm glad I've remembered this because I always forget love you to go and have a look at the community tab on our channel page the top um, post there is a kind of shout out to Unus Arnus, uh, which is um, Mark Iplia and the lovely Ethan. Just go and have a look, you'll see what I mean. And if you can, give it a like and a comment because the more likes and comments it gets, the more likely it is to happen. And in this world, if you don't push for things to happen, 
they're never going to happen. Be a pie sharer. Whenever something good happens to you, don't immediately think about other people, but you know, when you've established that, oh, this good thing's happened to me, how can I pass this on? How, how can I share this? You'll find it changes your life. You know what else changes your life? When you don't automatically accept everything about a person just because you like them. A la Philip Schofield. It's okay to say, I like him as a presenter and I, I hope he is happy now and I hope, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I don't like what he did. It's okay to do that. Popularism will kill us all. It's why Trump has just got away with horrific behaviour in America and why he has now stepped it up and started sacking people who were part of the um, impeachment inquiry. Um, just started sacking them, having them escorted out of the White House because he's now been given a free pass by all the Republicans over there who were terrified of losing their jobs and too scared to talk out uh, about him, apart from Mitt Romney, but who was amazing, not a religious man myself, but yeah. Um, but Trump gets away with all this and now will get much worse because it's been enabled. It's okay, it's okay to say, Trump's an okay guy. I would never say that. I can't stand him. I think he's horrific. But it's okay to say Trump's an okay but guy, but that was out of order and that shouldn't be allowed. It's it's okay to do that. One of the major problems with our planet is that we will call out behaviours and actions and even words in people outside of our circle that we will happily accept from those in our inner circle there should be no dividing line do you know what i mean if you're gonna if you don't like thieves don't like thieves even if your niece is one or your son love the person not the action do you know what i mean it's this has been one of those rambling droning ones hasn't it where i've gone off and off on all kinds of tangents by the way did anybody read the book that i recommended in um my books and movies uh, uh vlog which i'll link up there um the universe doesn't give a flying about you because nobody f like fed back that they it's only 14 pages nobody um fed back that they downloaded it because it's free it's a free book uh and and read it and and that surprised me because when i shared it on facebook a couple of years ago it had a really big impact it had a big impact on me which is why i spoke to you guys uh about it uh and finally what i would like to say is if you are on uh facebook um as part of our page those vegan guys there is a group called that vegan group which i would really like to see grow into a lovely supportive community um you know yeah so if you're on there pop and have a look will you and maybe join us in there it'd be lovely to see you i'd love it and i know jason would too i'm just checking the time here i think i've just gone over 20 minutes have I looked this pale all the way through? It's because I've got a light right there. Right there. Blinding me, it's blinding me. Um, uh, so yes, waffle, gerb, all kinds of things I've said. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Can't wait for Jason to get back from work now. I've, yeah, things have been kind of on hold. I'll end with that because I've needed to be there for my husband over the last couple of weeks. So I haven't been writing in my journal because we've been vlogging every day. So there's been kind of no need to. The vlogs serve as a kind of visual journal that I can tap back into anytime I like. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, enjoyed the party, time to pay the fiddler now. Um, 
and step things back up a bit and start uh, looking for work um, again I mean I have been keeping my eye out for for things and you know earmarking things but time to start stepping that up a bit again now I think and um, yeah wherever that may come from so right that's it I'm done love you all you know this adore you in fact actually adore you just for once I'm going to finish coffee on camera This is why I like these small cups. Ta da! There. Thank you so much for watching. Um, put all this stuff away now. Get this up online. So see you soon. And see you later with the burger video. Till then, e, be excellent to yourself and each other. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe. It helps us out loads. It really does. And check down there in the description because you'll find loads of links. The two ways that you can best support us to keep the channel going are through becoming a patron on our Patreon down there in the description or buying our merch, darling. Fabulous link down there. We deal with a fabulous vegan company called Vegan Original. Check it out, guys. 